He was the one carrying the grace of greatness and expansion. So Noah saw it and said, I lay cause because this boy is the one that through him, poverty and trouble will leave you. So instead of it, since you mock me, he shall be slave and you will not enjoy anything from him. Amen. Listen carefully. Someone has said, ah, pastor, did the cause come to pass? It came to pass. It came to pass. That after that generation has passed, the Canaan you are seeing are the Canaanites. Hello? They are the country that is called what? Canaanites. They were the one occupying the land that the Israelites took away. Hey, you don't understand. They were occupying that land for over 600 years. God spoke to Abraham and spoke to his children. He said, listen, there is a land occupied by some people. They were the one that built the wall of Jericho, the Canaanites. They were doing well. But suddenly, some men, that cause was waiting for them. And another nation came. And that nation is from the lineage of Shem. Shem is also an ancestor to Jesus Christ. If you read the Bible from Matthew, check the genealogy of Jesus, you discover that he came, he just like his great, great, great what? Grandfather. Joseph, the same line. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Joseph, the same line. Abraham. So all these people line with Shem. Remember the cause. Shem! Canaan shall be your slave. So when the time came, the children of Israel, from Joseph, Jacob, they were not the one that went, drove away the Canaanites. See, today we don't know where they are. Slaves carrying wood, fetching water for people. Innocent young man. That was a nation. Read your scripture, you won't hear the story of other ones. You will hear their story. But this is a man that carried grace to conquer nation. But because of that cause, because of that cause, they became slaves. They began to suffer from what they don't know. At the initial time, the cause was suspended. They began to build the nation. They began to build the nation. They began to do well. They stayed for over six of them. Imagine people that build the wall of Jericho. Imagine the people that will expand to a point that the nation, people will be afraid of them. But the moment the Israelites came, because of that cause, they drove them out. Wiped them out of the land. Some of them became Palestine. Some of them went out. Some of them went. They became slave to a nation. Why? Because of a cause that was laid. This man was innocent. The owner or the person that committed the sin was his father. Ham. And he was not the only child. There were other children. Why me? Why me? Why am I the one suffering from what that is happening in my father's house? Why am I the one going through what I'm going through? I don't know if somebody is understanding my message this morning. Listen, I pray for you. What you don't know will not affect you. If there is any existing power that is operating in your father's house right now, that you are not aware and you don't know how it came about, I stand on this altar. May that cause come to a blessing. Ah, I say may that cause come to a blessing. If you only can be loud that you are the one I'm talking to. Lift your say, I say no to every destiny killer. Have your seat. See how Noah scattered and destroyed the destiny of Canaan. Look at the way he, he spoiled the future of that young man. An innocent child that was growing that know nothing. I'm just wondering when he grew up and then I tell him, look at what your grandfather did. Because he was, I thought that grandparents, they love their grandchildren. Is it grandparents or is it grandparents? And grandfathers, I thought they love their grandchildren. How come that this one saw this innocent child that was the last born? And yet he was able to lay such a cause on him. Knowing that that cause will stand. Satan can use anyone. You have to be smart. When somebody is telling you, don't worry. By the time I'm through with you, I will finish you. Don't close your mouth. 
when somebody said that whether it's this joke or um, whether it was play, <laughs> you you not gonna see tomorrow. Tell the person you not gonna see the next hour. Don't be. There is power in your mouth. Am I talking to somebody here? What you accept, start working. Don't say hey, it's a joke. No, 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 no. Rebuke that person immediately. Tell the person even if it's a joke, stop it. I don't joke with that. Don't play with that joke with me. Don't. Because there is Satan can use anything. And once you accept it, it's not working against you. I'm not talking to someone here. I went to the bank one day and there was so much pew. And I went to the woman that was standing there. I said, please, is there anybody here? Are you the last person? Are you the last person? She said, I can't be the last and I will never be the last. <laughs> Amen. He says, I'm sorry, I can't be the last. I'm not the last and I can never be the last. I said, no. Is anybody behind you? He said, nobody. I said, okay, I'm behind you. He taught me a lesson. I like that. I, I, do you understand what I'm saying? English is English, but has meaning. Are you the last person? You can be last at anything. Are you with me at all? So the woman rejected it. I'm not the last and I can never be last. I said, sorry. Is anybody behind you? He said, nobody. Okay, let me stay behind you. <laughs> so same that time, if I go to the bank, there is I'll just ask somebody, is anybody behind you? And some people who have done this, so me, I've done it to several people. So when they not come, please, bros, are you the last person? I say, I will never be the last. I can't be the last. I can't be the last and I will never be the last. If you want to be behind me, no problem. Are you with me at all? Tell somebody I'm hearing you. I prophesy to you. Maybe today is your first time of coming to this place. And you don't understand what is happening to you. You are confused. Right now, may that cause be cancelled by fire. May that problem be destroyed. Shout it louder than that. I'm just wondering. How does it? I'm just wondering. How can I will be feeling? You ask me, say, what is, what is happening to me? I tried this one. It doesn't work. I tried this one. What is wrong with my life? What is wrong? What is going on? Not knowing that right from his childhood, that was when his destiny was tampered with. That was the moment the destiny was destroyed. They became carriers of wood. They became, that was where in, in the book of Lamentation, there was a place they cried. They said, ah! How come that the sin of our fathers is what we are going through? We are innocent. We have not caused anything. How come that we are not going through it? You are sitting right now. You may not really understand what is going on. The spiritual control the physical. Many of us can't explain what our great grandfathers, what they did. You can't. You can't. Some of them did, did a lot of errors. Some of them did, made a lot of pronouncements. Imagine somebody sending the whole family to a particular idol that even if I'm not around, don't worry, my children, children will serve you. Promising a deity when you are not yet born, you are not dead. He's already said, don't worry, all my children, children, all of them, that you will follow. Because at that moment, he feels that he's in charge. You have to come up and rearrange everything. Am I talking to somebody here? You have to rearrange and put everything aside. The life of Cana was destroyed by one man. By one man. Ask somebody by saying, what is happening to you? Ask someone by saying, what is going on? I'll share the story with us. A young lady, when she was very... that many of us sometimes, what we are going through may even be what we cost when we are coming up. As you... You know, YouTube exorbitant is very, very... It's, it's, it's terrible. You see that age of 15... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, even 21, 22, 23. Those years. <laughs> if anybody that escaped those years, it takes grace. It takes grace. There are some of you that, that is why when you say, you, I know my daughter, I know, not in this generation, stop saying I know. Because some of them, if they, if God open your eyes and see what your daughter is doing, you will enter bush. Forget the innocent face they put on when they come back home. Forget that your boy that come back very innocent and forget. Many of them, they tell you what they do. 
they tell you what they do, especially this phone. Especially your, my phone is not here, okay? If they tell you what they do with phone, you self, where you don't even know, they know. Am I talking to somebody here? Forget. I know my daughter. Ah, no, 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 my daughter can't. Sister, madam, mama, for an extent, make inquiry, don't rush. Once you hear the information, make inquiry first to make investigation, be sure before you start signing anybody. That she came out from your womb, that is when you can vote for her. As she grows up, goes out and coming. <laughs> Forget it. Mama, I'm coming, let me plait my hair. How can I not your hair, daughter? Don't vow. All you need to be doing, Father, help my children. Put them in prayer. If it is by your effort, if it is by your, um, they will not do it. I will tell you. Children, youth. A young man is smoking in his father's house. The father doesn't know for years. They didn't know. Once he's coming by, just go and look for alcohol. Boom. Throw it, put on top. Go sweet and be chewing. Not knowing that he's a chronic smoker. Chronic one. The daughter is messing up. Nobody knows. Even in the same house, you'll be surprised that the boy that is living there is living with the girl. Nobody knows. So, so many things are happening. And this youth for a sovereign, that is why you need to be careful. Because your attitude today determines what happens tomorrow. Sister, let me inform you, or brother, listen carefully. Some parents or some fathers who you see today who are great man, not all of them you should pity. But you see a man at his 50, 60, doing mini job for young men and they are paying him salary, one letter, two letter. It's not all of them you should pity. Some of them squander their youthful years. Some of them mess up opportunities. The time they should have gathered and planned their life, they were doing for you. you. Carrying ladies around. Look at it. What you refuse to do that time, the person goes back to start afresh. You see a man 50, 60 years is a good man. You see a man 50, 60 years, what is the man doing? He's a driver. Who is he driving? 30 years and 35 years old boy. Salary how much? 40 years. 40,000. Or 50,000 at most. Oh, say, oh, this papa, hey, he's suffering. Check some of them, oh, check. Some of them have died with full time. Mama is talking, papa is talking. It's not like some of us who used to advise our children. Stop doing this thing you are doing. Look at the way you are sounding as if you, when your mother was shouting his own, were you listening? Now you don't burn. Your mind is now saying, oh, now like this, my mother did do all those things. Look at you now. Praise God. It's not like as my. My mother-in-law is around now. If my wife is shouting on Kilechina, I know to her she'll be wanting. <laughs> hey, Chai. We need to chai it to be here. Oh, you let you warm. So in a in a particular Kilechimba, she will not be remembering what she was doing.